What's up guys? Another tight medical movie review just for you. About the family out to see Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. And uh, you know, this is the end of the trilogy for Guardians of the Galaxy with some of these characters. Uh, I thought the movie was really, really good. Obviously it had all the, you know, the original Guardians of the Galaxy characters and some new characters. Different villain this time, which is really cool. Introducing some other anti-heroes in this too as well. And I don't want to give too much of it away. Yeah, don't give it away, John. But it, it was really good. It was definitely good as far as the plot, um, you know, the setup of the characters, what was going on, some backstory of things that you may have not ever seen before and might want to know about. So you guys will like that, I think. And the movie's runtime was two and a half hours. So it was a longer movie. But uh, it didn't seem like it. It went through nice and smooth. There was no dead parts. Like, man, this thing needs to be over by now. But it was really, really cool. So, and it sets up new things to happen in the future, which is exciting. Two post-credit scenes. So make sure you stay for those. Great action. Great movie. All the characters are off. Like, absolutely amazing. But I think I was waiting for like the. You know when you just wait for like the hit of the movie. I feel like I didn't get the hit of the movie. This is my personal opinion. You know, you gotta have all the opinions, right? So out of five stars, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a 4.2, right? 4.2, so Pretty good. It's, it's not five, but it was definitely up there. It was definitely a good movie. I would recommend it out to people. I think it's a good family movie to come in. Um, so yeah, so 4.2 4 out of five stars for me. What about you, Sharice? Um, I think I'm gonna go with like a, a, a 3.5. I'm being very generous with that. Generous at a 3.5? Very, very generous. I don't even know if I'd go see a 3.5 if you rated it. You've seen many 3.5 movies. In fact, you've seen many 2.5 movies. But I probably thought they were better than that. <laughs> Pete, what about you? Three. A three? Why a three? Just because it was just a three, like on a movie. Okay. So how does this compare to any of the other Marvel movies that were released this year? AKA Ant-Man? Or even the uh, last one after that, I think was Thor, God of Thunder. Love and Thunder, I'm sorry, excuse me. What do you think was better out of all, of all three of those? Love and Thunder. I like the Greek god part. Oh, okay. Ah! You like Zeus? Oh, yeah, I like what they did to him. He looked very high and mighty. Uh, he definitely didn't look high and mighty. They should have picked somebody better for that role. Hold part. on, wait, hold on. Let's go ahead and put my input on the Ant-Man movie because I don't care for Ant-Man whatsoever. However... I reviewed Ant-Man. Hold on. You got your chance. No, I did not. Guardians of the Galaxy, I feel as though it didn't have a super, super cool villain like Ant-Man did. It's because you don't know the comics, folks. Uh -huh. High Evolutionary is a pretty well, serious how many, villain. Well, how many people out there might see the movie that doesn't know the comics? That's my review. There might be a couple of them, but still. You wouldn't know who Kang was unless I told her too, so it really doesn't matter. But he was a cool villain, I think, all the way around. He was cool all around. He was cool. So listen, <laughs> take it from us. Go see the movie. I think we all agreed that the movie was worth it was, watching. It was definitely worth it's a great right. movie. I thought it was great. So take the family out. Go watch a good Marvel flick and be entertained. You're going to love Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and all the characters that come with it. So that's another tight medical movie review just for you and the Titan family, the original. To you guys, we love you. And we'll be back with another movie review very soon. <laughs>